so the area, a map of where this was, and then it was in the it's a map of part of Victoria. Certainly the paddle was great when we went from uh, Mill Point out to the bee farm, because that's been a big part of our community engagement has been to actually get people onto the lake so we're not just always sitting around talking about art or or the environment we're actually out there becoming really aware of of how beautiful it is and 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 what a different experience you have of East Gippsland in particular when when you actually get on the water all of these were put in um, vertically floated at the top sunk at the bottom one big piece I, I cut a nine meter piece of cotton canvas and I lay it horizontally in the lake in, the, in water, like just kayakable, that kind of thing. And I just you know, put bars in the ends of it, spread it out, and tied it up at the corners, and left. I camped beside that last year. I camped for a month and watched it. And so on top, with all the mud and the silt and the flocculation from the water settled, and underneath, algae and things happened underneath. And when I pulled it out and um, hung up, the underside had lovely rust-coloured patterns. Just, just, I just assume it's an algae. I don't know. I, I, don't, I know nothing, really. I just put it in there and pulled it out. And, and it, it was a beautiful thing to work with. The six that I did for the exhibition, um, each one shows a different aspect of that environment of the shores of the lake. I got this little press and I could, with padding in the press, I could screw it down hard enough that it would leave that mark on the paper. Mm. Yeah, so that's so what this idea. Here, came it's been under the water. That. This has been in the water for a month. Yeah. So any of the linens that you saw down there as you walked yep. up, yeah. um, each of those had been in the water for a month and then I would bring it home and work over that. Um, it was a two year process of work because the first, basically the first year I worked out what fabric to use and how long to leave it and how quickly would it rot and you know what would happen when I, if I put um, fabric in the water and you know it, it depended on a lot of different things. Like how warm it was and whether it was salty or fresh or had had the lake just opened and was carrying tons of mud down the lake. Phases of the moon while this was in the water. Oh. So it started on a half moon, went through the awesome. oh, so wow. phase. Yeah. And this one here Which is, is, that's a this moon is, is the sun. In the middle is the sun. You see this? These are the long night short days, long day short nights. When this was in the water, we were there. That is fantastic. Oh,